How many people did we kill? I, I don't think I personally killed anybody. No. I didn't you turn people. You turned. You shot the IRA guy in the face. <laughs> did I? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, I mean, it didn't technically. I mean, it killed him technically. <laughs> he just that was to him. fix a masquerade problem, and none of you were there to help. And the best I was on the was, phone going, don't do anything we can't, stupid, and we then can't you shot him. him. We can't ghoul him. That's a breach of the masquerade. I didn't say that. Yes, yeah, you, you did. did. You said that. I would not have said that. Yes, you totally did, because Zach was going to ghoul him, and you're like, no, we can't ghoul him. It's a breach of the masquerade. And then you and turn then around you and you I have the record. That doesn't sound like me. You not only had a ghoul... Like in the car outside, <laughs> but you were also in the process of tr of making another guy into a ghoul for the express purpose of flipping a switch. Oh yeah, patches. <laughs> that was a masquerade breach that was going to clean itself up. <laughs> uh, I don't believe that being my argument, and I have it recorded. I'm gonna find the recording of that and then edit together this conversation and what actually happened and put it on YouTube to prove you wrong or to prove myself an idiot. And then cut here. You, uh, maybe got some aspirin? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know a guy. Uh, I'm not on me, but I know someone who might. <laughs> oh, maybe they could get here soon. I don't know what, uh, I don't know how much blood's supposed to be in me, but it seems like it's going down fast. All right, well, I'm gonna come in. Don't shoot me when I walk around this corner. I won't shoot you, but I am going to point my gun at you. I walk around before my hands are slightly up by him. Okay. He's got, he's got that gun kind of pointed at you. Thank okay. You. So, uh, said you might have a buddy who can help out? Yeah. Um, mind if I make a call? Uh, yeah. Okay. As long as you don't mind if I keep my gun pointed at you. Yeah, that's fine. So, <laughs> I'll get on my phone, I'll call you up. Hello, drugs! No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of drugs... What's up? Um, so the guy who's making the box of chocolates for us. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? I gotta, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that for an accident. No, no. <laughs> you were sounding He's not Irish. He's Gary He's Gary Dell. Dell. He's Gary Dell. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Joke of the night for Mike. Um, His name is Ghirardelli. Someone broke, a, or someone or a group of people or whatever the hell broke into his place and stole a lot of shit and fucked him up pretty bad. Wondering if you had some to take care of the pain or possibly to help patch him up. I assume you do. Uh, I mean, I am a doctor, sort of, but um, when you say someone broke in and fucked him up, like just now? Like, is this about to be a crime scene full of cops? Uh, I don't think cops are gonna be here. And I don't think it was as well. Uh, from the looks of her, for, like, if you make the sound, if you kind of respond to that, I don't think cops are gonna be here. He's like, no, it wasn't It wasn't loud enough. There there wasn't enough noise. Though. Yeah, for anyone to have known. He's like, if you hadn't come, I would've died. No. So I'll throw whatever medical supplies I assume that I have in like a duffel bag while I'm on the phone. Um, Alright, so uh, go ahead and uh, so you give him the thing. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a little while to get there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead. And you had enough basic medical, I figured. I am too, so I could take a look at him and patch him up enough it's before you get a, there. You know, yeah, keep him uh, He's lost a lot of blood. He's lost a lot of blood. Alright, well someone's on the way to take a better look at you, but until they do, I'm going to have to. You keep you got a point on me. How are you on good? I need to take a look at the one though. It, it, as as he's been doing that, like the, you've kind of seen the glove, the gun drop, and he's having a hard time saying away. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so as you take his hand away, and he starts he starts fading fast. All right. Well, he's probably only got ten minutes. So no matter patching up and. So I'm just going to. No, I mean he's already lost a shit ton of blood. Do you do you get a hold of him to at all to be like, hey, I don't know if he's going to make it or if he's going to be uh, be up long enough? Yeah, I'll go ahead. And okay, quick call. I don't think he's going to be alive long enough before you get here. 
Is the bomb there, or do we still need him? Chocolate. Sorry, no. Is the chocolate still there, or do we still need Willy Wonka? Well, I'm gonna I need to look, look around. Quick look around. There doesn't. I mean, most everything's gone. What used to be guns and stuff all over the walls, not there. Stuff's torn up. It looks like he was basically busted open. He was shot. He dragged himself to a spot where he could get to his gun, uh, but that was after they had already bolted. They weren't trying to kill him. They just wanted his shit. But there is nothing here. You got two options. You can either call 911 and hope an ambulance gets there in time and that he's still useful to us afterwards, which is probably a long shot, or you patch him up the messy way. I really don't want to get authorities involved, so I think I'm going to go with the messy way. Drink it! <clears throat> he, uh, he has no idea what you are. Oh, okay, interesting. He's going to wake up and bite you. <laughs> he's Probably. very... Well, he'll wake up and bite you. Um, this is technically on the route to embracing, but you would have had to, he would have had to have been completely dead first. You kind of, like, you see him, like, his eyes are like, oh, oh. The fuck is in my mouth? Wine. <laughs> and, uh, how much blood do you give him? Um, probably two points of blood. Okay. So he kind of like sits up, and you notice that like the really bad gun wounds that he had are slowly healing. What the, f- what the fuck? And Zach he's like, just broke the mask right he's kind of like, so he's got his. He's, he, you healed him too good. He's gonna fucking know. What the hell did you do to me? First things first, save your life. Secondly, don't ask too many questions about that. Okay. Third thing, um, you're going to be fine. And fourth and final, don't talk about how I saved your life or how your life has been saved. Well, I don't know how my life has been saved, so that's neat. Just don't talk about this to anyone besides me. Want to color on that? You some kind of witch or something? Something like that. And he's kind of staring at it, and you'll notice that like the wounds have closed up, and then they've stopped. And so he's still... He's not going to die, but you can definitely tell that he is still he's still wounded. So he still needs medical attention. The blood that you gave him, he burnt to heal himself. But it was not enough to completely heal himself. You healed him too good and you didn't cover it up. I'm going to be so mad when I get there. I might have to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he's like, all right, so why the fuck are you here? I'm here for the chocolate. <laughs> oh, my chocolate, bitch. Well, I came to acquire some protection, but by the looks of things, I don't think that's going to be... No, I guess since I'm going to make it out of this, I'm going to have to find another place. But yeah, I got I got nothing. I'm going to take a wild, wild shot in the dark here and say I'm guessing the uh, explosive is no longer here as well. Oh, no, yeah, that shit's gone. Oh, good. Now that you're a bit more conscious and aware... Who the hell broke in here and took? Who cleaned you out? A bunch of the Latin kings. Just I ain't gonna get you a bomb anytime soon. It's fine. Just regardless to uh, regarding to that, just accept that it happened. Move on with your life and forget about it. So about 15 minutes later, you come down the stairs. Peek the head around. Um, there is a wounded man. Uh, there's a lot of blood everywhere, but he doesn't seem to be in the de- current state that he was. Is he still holding the gun? Uh, no, the gun is on the, the gun's on the ground. Is it still within his reach? Yes. I look at you, and I say, um, that wasn't entirely what I meant when I said the messy way? What did you do exactly? That's a good question. I'd like to know what you did. No, you don't need to know, and I'll talk to you about what I did. When we get out of here. Does he have the chuck the bomb? Uh no, it's been taken. <laughs> I right. turn to him and I say, How long would it take you to make another one? <laughs> Without anything? <laughs> Weeks. I got nothing. And right now I'm not even a good I, I don't even know if I could fucking stand right now. Do you have any other contacts who could make this chop <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> bomb That was in character. Uh no. I will pull out my phone 
and send a text first to Evelyn, then to uh, Brad, Brady, Brody? Brad. 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 Uh, and uh, it just says, Masquerade Breach, <laughs> please advise. Because this is his problem, and his problem is really our problem. I call. Uh, yes, that is exactly what the matter is. What the fuck? You call him or me? I used to call you. me. I will put you. I will put you on speakerphone. Conference call you. And say you're on speakerphone. What the hell did you guys do? Oh whoa! It was just him. And I'm I don't actually, care who it was. I got the message from you. Our uh, chocolatier got uh, jumped by the looks of it. I asked him, "Who the hell jumped you?" A bunch of the Latin kings. They came in here a couple weeks back to buy some guns. Everything seemed on the up and up, but they definitely uh, they de- uh, they played me. I didn't expect for it to go like this. They had one guy in here. The other ones were outside. When I wasn't paying attention, they came through the door. And dude shot me, blew the lock open, took all the shit. So what? There's, there's, so, there's so here's, just a bunch of you witches? Like, what the fuck is going on? I Take will, them to your place. I, I will meet oh, you oh, there. I will I will lock eyes and do the serpent uh, stare. Okay. And just that to, does... He is immobilized and doesn't do anything until until I look away. Okay. Doesn't even get a roll to resist it. Just okay. flip. Uh, I will say, look, we don't know any other chocolatiers in the city. I'll be there in however long it takes me to get there. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. Was the bomb done? No. uh, Well, maybe, but it was stolen in its complete or incomplete state. He has no other resources, no other materials, according to him, to make a bomb, and you would have to start over from scratch, and it would take weeks. It doesn't sound like this guy is useful to us any, anymore. I think we need to do the obvious thing. So are you continuing to stare him down? Yes. Then the question becomes, do we stick with a bomb idea? Do we do something else? Do we try to recover the bomb from where it was? Who, who took it? Granted, depending on who took it, it could be nearly impossible to track one thing down. Well, not having a bomb is a bigger problem. Sorry, uh, is a smaller problem than having this guy running around. This guy running around is going to get all of us in huge trouble. Well, last I heard, he's bleeding out, so... It sounds like the problem will solve itself shortly. No, he's not bleeding out anymore. That's why it's a problem. He had been bleeding out, and no longer is. Tell me when I show up. I assume we're, you're still on the phone call. No, I said, I'll be there in that time, and I hung up. Great, so you're not part of the discussion. Mm-mm. Did you have a plan? Trying to get down is nearly impossible, so that's that's a that's a no-go from the get-go. We probably can't make another bomb. Dropping the building on it might not be enough, at least from what I understood. So, I might figure out another way to... I see two easy ways out of the solution. Because the other thing is, even once we get the bomb, if we got the bomb from him, we would still need to deal with him after this point. I, I think... Either, and I point to you, you ghoulify him so that he's at least loyal and then maybe we use him as the patsy, or either you or I finish off what the Latin King started and let him be a mess for the authorities. Because this, I mean, whether he makes the bomb for us or not, at this point he doesn't walk away from this alive. Unless you want to vamp him, that's probably an even messier solution. Let me know when I get there. I don't think you're going to get there in time. At the rate it's going... He's not going to be a problem for a bit longer. Oh, I would have said before I hung up that I have an idea on what to do with him. Sorry. I will put Brody on hold and call you back and say, Evelyn, what was your idea? Because right now we're leaning towards getting rid of the, him. Oh, no. He can remain useful. I'm just going to scare the literal shit out of him and put the fear of God in him. Uh, He's Irish. He already has the fear of God, and it's called being Irish. Irish Catholic. I don't, I don't think scaring the crap out of him is good enough. I'll be there in ten minutes. Are you heading over there, Mike? No. It sounds like they have stuff in order. If I, they need me, my solution is very, rather simple. Mm-hmm. Shoot him. No, that's a waste of a bullet. I take you off hold and say, what is your actual solution? I don't think he's useful anymore, and that's just the bottom line at that point. He knows what's going on, or at least enough to be a problem. He's not useful anymore. He can't get us what we need. He's not able to find what we need. Cut the losses and find another answer. What's your solution? Since this is primarily, technically, your mess first. I guess it's mine second since I'm also here. 
I'm waiting for just getting rid of him. Great. Three votes for dead. I shoot him in the head. <laughs> okay. You hear a bang over the phone. Out again. I'm sorry, you're outvoted. <laughs> I was going to use dread gaze on him to either have him give us the name of people who can get him the supplies to make the bomb within a few days or give us the name of a uh, compatriot who could do that for us and then put a bullet in his head. You could have explained that before I shot him and not dramatically and not dramatically hung up the phone. In character I'm pissed and it's just like I have a plan I will be there in 20. So, IRA guy is dead. You've lost two points of blood. <laughs> My hope was that one point of blood would be enough to be like he just stabilizes, but was that not in the cards? There would have been, because, I mean, you're bas- it's basically a health level. The bleeding would have stopped. There would have been a little bit of health gain. There would have been, a, but two going from crippled to just wounded, basically going from a negative five to a negative two. So he would have, he would have no matter what, noticed it. Mm-hmm. Um, Whether or not he realized how bad off he was in the first place, it was up in the air. Yeah. But going from I'm I'm bleeding out and losing consciousness and everything else to man, I could almost stand up right now was the really noticeable part. Uh, I need you to give me a humanity roll. Yeah, figures. Uh, actually, I need all of you to give me humanity <laughs> rolls. I'm not there. I, and I, don't, I agree with her. She should have had nothing to I'm do with it. I'm not there, she, and I don't know that they outvoted me and shot it. She hung up her phone. He was, fine. She wasn't That's actually fine. advocating. I need humanity rolls from all three. So what do we actually roll? What is it? Uh, humanity roll is conscience. Uh, right. <laughs> I was just going to, like, put the literal yeah. of everything. I'm good. Uh, One out of three fail? sessions? Yeah. 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 Fail, fail, no ones. No, Another no seven. Ones. God damn it. Okay. So you're down to four? Yeah. <laughs> I'm down to seven. Okay. Jesus. Yep. Here's the thing. This is the roll that I would have had to make when we went through with the actual bombing plan, which is probably foobard now. i got to get rid of this fucking extra ghoul I have now, too. What am I going to do with patches? Keep them until we get a new bomb. I am tremendously inconvenienced by this murder. <laughs> <laughs> should be the title of this episode. But yeah, as you can clearly see, uh, something has been proven. Anyway. 